Money is an energetic exchange. It is a vehicle. So with money, can we buy our freedom back? It's the Ascension link here. My name is Gabriel, and we are talking about money and if money can buy you freedom. Can money get you to the state, to the place where you want to be emotionally, physically, spiritually? Well, I'm here to tell you how we can reframe our thoughts about money to be able to attract more of it. Because at the end of the day, money is just an energetic exchange. It is a currency that we as a collective have decided to use as an exchange. Money can certainly have, can certainly allow you to have things. But when you have more money, we often will try to fill the void because we first haven't properly reframed our our thoughts about money. We haven't recalibrated our beliefs of the real way money can work for us, can work for us in our sleep, while we're traveling, while we are doing what we love. Your money beliefs determine how you're going to produce money. And I ignored this for the longest time. I ignored my my beliefs about money. My beliefs were that money was my end game, my goal. If I just had more of it, then I could help more people. I had it totally backwards. With money, you can't help people you can't help yourself with money it's just a tool it's not a medicine i thought it would be my cure-all i thought it would get me out of debt and get me to where i wanted to go in life i thought it would let me become who i wanted to be and what you have to understand is first you have to give yourself permission to be who you want to be Give yourself permission to change those beliefs about money. So we have to look at our beliefs now and start to rework on them. Start to rework them and really become more aware. Because how can we work on them without first being aware of what those beliefs exactly are? Everybody has different beliefs about money that only certain people can make money. That if you're smarter, if you went to a better school, or if you were born into a richer family, or if you were born in a certain part of the company, I mean country, or if you're at a certain part of a company, you know, you can only make a certain amount of money, you're capped. We've created this glass ceiling for ourselves. And what we have to understand is that the ceiling needs to be broken. You have to throw away everything that you've learned about money from one to seven years old because our biggest beliefs in life, our our first view, perception of life comes from the first seven years. We are in a theta state from one to seven and we are consuming information like a sponge to be able to prepare ourselves to live the rest of our lives. That's why children are so impressionable at that age because they are in a theta state and they are constantly taking in information from their parents, their environment, their friends. So whatever it is that that works for other people, they may think, will work for them. This is my path. This is who I am. This is my identity. There's a lot of ego that has to do with it too. The ego will tell you, this is who I am. And I can't let go. It's gonna 
latch on to you deep inside and you just gotta you gotta rip it out because your ego is telling you that this is your way of survival your ego is there to help you survive it's our survival mechanism it's there to keep you safe the less the less comfort the more comfortable you are and the less uncomfortable you are the more the ego is thriving because it knows you're safe it's it's that's the way that it knows that you're okay and through your identity through these money beliefs through your environment other people around you validating it, your beliefs this is where your money money beliefs come from and how they can be so hard to uninstall your mind is like a supercomputer and you constantly have to be updating it like the next iphone the next release you constantly have to be updating your computer with the best knowledge the best information arm yourself with the truth to be able to progress and succeed and become your greatest self to know your authentic self everything else is just a distraction and that's the truth so if we think of money as just a tool and the real value comes from us within us the value you give yourself the knowledge the information that will help to validate that knowledge then you will be able to see that you had the power all along everything else was just distracting you was just straying you from your path to making money that's why they say do what you love because if you are doing what you love you when you're doing what you love you are at the core of yourself you are being your true authentic self you're living truth and now you are giving value the more value you give the more you get it's not about how much money you can make, it's how many people can you help first. Giving value is the number one thing and knowing your value, knowing that you're priceless, deciding your worth, not letting anybody else decide that for you. Because at an early age, again, we are told what we need to do in our lives. We're given a name. We don't even choose our name. We don't choose what we want to do. We don't choose you know what we want to learn we're just given everything to us everything's giving given to us and now all we want are handouts handouts from people for that validation of the ego the self i words like me mine i made a video about this these words contribute to your ego and we attached our identities to certain material things certain people our relationships with a significant partner we believe that that is who we truly are but it's not we have to wake up and ask ourselves the right questions that's how we're gonna wake up through asking the right questions who am I becoming and it's not only till something happens in your life something traumatic something life-altering like this virus it's not until then people start asking these questions it's not until then people start looking for faith they become believers of whatever it is so guys i know i went on a lot touched on a lot of things but this is very important because money coincides with all of these things you cannot have a, a successful or a fulfilling life without balance and balancing your financial life your spiritual life your your physical life how healthy you are your mental health you can't take one away and not have the other
it's got to be a balance so remember this guys know your worth your value what you give is what you're gonna get in return for money and that's gonna buy you your freedom it's about what you are producing and how much you're consuming remember that guys so if you like this video be sure to like comment subscribe my name is Gabriel this is the Ascension link and make sure to take care be well stay stay healthy and live truly